Mr. and Mrs. North, starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning. and they lived happily ever after. The end. Hmm. Put it in about 150 pages and I'll get it out in time for the Christmas trade. <laughs> oh, darling. Oh, they're lying awake half the night and sleeping half the day. It's got to stop. This will do it. These are very potent sleeping pills. Take one tonight and sleep like a baby. Quote, unquote, Dr. Mitchell. Hmm. What happens if I take two of them? Well, it's not recommended. He says you might not have time to put the cat back before you collapse. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> Just let me go through these and I'll be right with you. <clears throat> wow! Well, Jerry, what is it? You act as though someone had just given you all the rights to Shakespeare. Oh, this, this, this may not be Shakespeare, but I'll guarantee it'll sell two million copies. Get me Warden Haynes at the State Penitentiary. Penitentiary? Is this all for... One of the biggest racketeers in the country, until he forgot to pay his income tax. Dave Girard. Dave Girard? He's a writer? Oh, a writer or not in basic English or Sanskrit, his memoirs will be the hottest item ever to hit the market. His memoirs? Oh, Jerry, they would have the crooks in the country back in jail. Oh, okay, damn, this will be dynamite. Oh, I, I just can't wait to see Mr. Dave Girard. <laughs> Me somebody. Mr. Gerard's a match. <laughs> he, he, he smokes too much. <laughs> hey, what Daggett says, Big Shot, you smoke too much. Smart guy, aren't you, Baldy? Outside, I wouldn't let you shine my shoes. You ain't outside now, Mr. Gerard. Smoking is bad for your health. Why, oh, you creep of It lost, Big Shot. Get real lost. I'll show you jerks. All of you. And soon, too. Oh, I'm real scared. Then you really think Gerard means to blow the whistle on all his friends? Blow the whistle? Crime talk. Magazines. Oh, yes. Well, I'm sure that he does, but I wouldn't call them his friends. All set up, Warden. Gerard's in the visitor's room now. Good. We had to be sure that your interview was private. If the other comms found out what Gerard's up to, we'd have a riot on our hands. Or worse, this way, please. to the police, Mr. North. I kind of figured they'd be pretty good customers for it. Maybe we can charge them a little extra. Very well. The uh, warden has agreed to relieve you of your duties for as long as it takes you to finish the rough draft of the material. Well, now, that's mighty nice of the warden. Glad to see he appreciates my talents. And I want my name on the cover in big letters, you understand? Dave Gerard. <laughs> and maybe my picture, too. With or without a gun in your hand. Huh? Oh, forget it. Uh, now, will you be able to start right away? Yeah. Somebody's making a break. They put you right.
This way, folks. You better get out of here. Oh. All right. Out you go. Come on. Around it. Get around it. You two. I don't want in on this yard. You're in on a fix. So don't move them. Come on. Uh, that's far enough. Where are you taking us? Hospital kitchen, get on. Code red for all cell blocks. 13 and 3 on the east wing. Second division on the wall. That's right. And hurry while that PA extension. They're barricaded in the kitchen with the Norse and Gerard. And you were supposed to see that they were guarded. Yes. Sir. Oh, fine yard, Captain. Why the devil didn't you stay in Texas with those blasted mavericks? Richie. Yes, sir? You know, I didn't mean that. Sure, I reckon you got a right to blow your top. Come on, we got work to do. The delivery truck is gone. We'll never get out now. All right, take it easy. Ain't it through yet, not as long as we got these two. You're crazy. They'll never let you escape. Oh, lady, you better pray that they do. Oh, get back there, you stupid screw. <laughs> Look at him go, go. He runs like a duck. <laughs> oh, look at the waste of taxpayers' money. You think bullets was free? Come on, come on, sit down, you two. Over there. I don't think that warden wants to see either of you two get hurt. Oh, it's a nice bit of fluff. You know, you got good taste, pal. Take your hands off my wife. Oh, listen. Let me out of this. You got no reason to get out. All right, Ow. shut up. Hold your fire if you want to kill those innocent people. Yar, Taggart. This is the warden. It's about time. Let those people go, Yar. Come out with your hands up. You're wasting your breath. You want those friends of yours to go on living? You park a car in the middle of the yard with the motor running, leave them gates open. I'm making no deals, Yard. Your only chance is to give yourself up. Your friend's only chance for us to go free. You better think that all of us. Stalling, sir. It'll be dark before long. Maybe we can figure out a way to get in there. Can I have a little time to decide? Take all the time you want, Ward. But no tricks. Well, they get it. the last of the soup. Cookie will sure be mad about that. What a dope. Soup. <laughs> Sounds like you, stupid. Huh? Who are you calling stupid? I, I, I got plenty of brains. In which head? You want to say things like that to me? All right, all right. Easy, pal. I'll keep your cork in. We got troubles enough. Sure. Whatever you say, you are. And a boy tax. Everything's okay, huh? Oh, fine. Just dandy. You speak when you spoke to Jack. Oh, honey, you don't want to be scared of me. It's Taggart there. You've got to look out for He's the dangerous one. You mean he's... A few bricks short of a full load, yeah. He's got some kind of a grudge against Thames. Do you ever notice those hands of his? 
four dames strangled. And what a pair of mitts. One twist is on. Shut up. What's the matter? I frighten the little one? What she needs is a man to console her. That's it. Jerry, yeah, no. Oh, Jack, you're beginning to annoy me. Stand up once. Well, you don't hear good either, huh? I said stand up. Stop you with my hands, just like I did the others. Stop with your hands. You understand? I had to. Had to. Believe me, I wouldn't slug you if I didn't have to. But you was acting kind of... You wasn't listening to me. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of mad. That's it. Yeah. What? You ain't sore at me. Oh, go on. Why would I be sore? Now, come on, knucklehead. We've got to keep these windows covered. Otherwise, those screws will be in... <laughs> oh, good for you, big shot. I didn't think you had it in you. Don't push your luck. Come on. So, Jerry, do you think the warden will give in? He can't just let two killers loose, Pam. Mr. Yar. Huh? Thank you. For what? The rescue. Save your thanks. I only stopped him because I need you to bargain with. You all right, Knucklehead? Yeah. I I I'm hungry. yourself. Would you like me to make some coffee? Getting awful helpful all of a sudden, ain't you? No, I don't want no coffee. Here, thanks. But thanks, you are. Some wrong one? Huh? Oh, it's just that, well, taking this stuff is kind of like stealing. What? I ain't never stole nothing before, you are. It don't seem right taking what don't belong to you. Yeah, yeah, Tag, yeah, but food's different. You got supper coming to you. That's right, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Getting dark. Yeah, pretty soon we'll be able to see out there. I... I hate the dark. You are? This here's Ricky. The warden's not around right now. Where is he? Keep your britches on. He's making long-distance calls, trying to get an okay to let you all go. That takes time. That better not take too much time. Yeah. It's getting awful, Dot. Can we turn on the lights? <laughs> Solid steel doors, now they've got tables blocking the windows. First timing. Lights, yeah. I sure love lights. Oh, that's not so tight. Try 
try and be brave. Think of what a good story this will make. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It'll be great for my book. Book? What book? He was telling me about a book he's been reading. Uh -huh. Sounded like one who was writing. Me? Uh. Oh, that's silly, isn't it? Sure it is. It's a real joke. What would a guy like me write about? All right, what would a guy like you write about, Big Sure? Uh, nothing, you are. Nothing, I swear. What about your pals? Huh? About what they used to do? And how? And where? No wonder you was asking all those questions out in the yard. I should have known. No, no, you're crazy. Oh. Stool pigeon. Dirty, stinking stoolie. To sell your buddies up the river just for a couple of lousy bucks, huh? No, it, 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 it wasn't for dough. No. Uh, I was sore. Yeah. But, but I wouldn't have come no. through with it. All right, no, thank you, God. God. In your life, you told the truth. <laughs> We just knew how to get a man in there. The one thing we can do, Matthews. Tell him to cut the master power switch that feeds the kitchen. Yes, sir. Yeah, in the dark, maybe the North will have a chance to make a break. Thanks, yeah. The lights. Yeah, they turned out the lights. Oh, that is that easy. making sure we don't lose our prisoners. Don't leave me like that again. I can't stand being alone in the dark, you yeah. Somebody gonna look out the windows? All right. I'll do that. You watch out for these two. All right. But close. No losing. Okay. Hey, Richie! Turn the lights back on! Sorry, I can't. Power You're lying! Okay, you tell the warden, one more hour to come through. After that, I'm killing the North. Don't do it, you are. You'll burn for it. I'll burn anyway. Hey, Richie, it's up to the warden. You tell him that. Tell him when they go, he'll be pulling the trigger. He'll be the killer, not me. There is a way to get a man into that kitchen. What? How? You know that old ventilating shaft leading into the kitchen? It's big enough for a man to be let down through it with a rope. Are you afraid? Dying. Well, but that and, and... and all the things... the lack of things afterwards. The endless unknown. Are you afraid of that? Can it! You two talk like a couple of undertakers. I'm sorry. You're going to talk about dying. Don't talk. Sure is dark in here, isn't it? I hate the dark. It's always so full of things. All around you. What kind of things? Bad things. Things that hate you. I know. That's why I can't sleep without a light. Sleep. They tried to make me sleep in the dark, but I know better. Coffee might taste good right now. <laughs> Coffee might taste good right now, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, make some. Uh, 
I knew there was a place for a string bean like me. It's a perfect fit. Richie, I, I, I... Yeah, Warden, me too. Now, easy does it, fellas. Unless I yank the rope, don't you waste no time getting me up. Because if you do, I'll likely be sharing this ventilator with a herd of bullets. Thirty minutes left! Smells good. I'll get some bread. Both those killers in the drinking it, huh? It was a brave thing to do. Oh, I was scared green. <laughs> uh, Jerry, my husband, he, he was really the brave one. Yeah? Well, let's meet him. There he is. Hiya, Mr. North. How about a safe? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. North is directed by Ralph Francis Murphy. A John W. Loveton production. Produced by Federal Telefilms. 
starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning, featuring Francis DeSale. This has been a film presentation.